Chris from Southeast Industrial Equipment, Duncan Branch. Today we're going to be doing a safety check on forks uh, using our fork gauge, which is a cascade part which is available through our parts department. We're going to be checking our pitch uh, as far as our 90 degrees, make sure they're not bent. We're going to be checking our wear on our heels. And with this tool, we're also going to be checking our hanger on our attachment to make sure that it's not worn and within specs. The first thing we're going to do is to check the thickness of our heel. And what we want to do is use our outer two tips, which is called a go no go tool. Securely attach it to the fork and it should not go. Make sure it's good and tight. And then what we'll do is put it on our heel and as you can tell these forks are worn and need to be replaced. The reason we need to replace them is this is a weak spot in the fork. Uh, this is a 5,000 pound lift so it is very possible that this fork could break causing damage, causing injury and we definitely do not want that. The next thing we want to do is check and make sure our forks are not bent. Um, again we'll use our same tool and we'll just securely check the fork on the bottom side and on the back side of the fork and it should be flush on all four tips and we'll come back to our gauge and there is a degree settings on the tool itself which will tell us if it's within specs or if it's out of specs and according to the gauge, it is within specs, uh, the fork's not Next, bent. Next, we're going to be checking our attachment uh, for our fork rides and to make sure that it is within specs. On our tool, we can also check that. Uh, we have class 1 and class 2 here. And on this end, we can check class 3 attachments. So this is obviously, this is a class 2 uh, size shift. And what we want to do is just set it in the cradle and make sure it's level and flush and we should have a little gap in between the tool and the side shift which shows that it is inspected and it is not worn.